A father pleaded guilty today to killing his two infants and their mother. 27 year old Dwayne Warren pleaded guilty to all three charges of second degree murder. Norfolk police arrested Warren in December of last year for the deaths of his girlfriend and their three month old son. His three month old daughter was killed in 2019. Senator Sides investigative reporter Chris Horn has the update now from court. Chris? Yes, yeah, Stephanie Dwayne Warren admitted to killing the two infants and his girlfriend, their mother, and now he faces a lengthy prison sentence. After the guilty pleas this morning, his defense attorney said she is going to reserve comment until after the sentencing, which will be in February. So we'll have to wait at least until then to get the answer to the most important question this evening. Why did he do it? Warren's most recent victims were his 22-year-old girlfriend, Epiphany Andrews, and their three-month-old son, Demir. Their bodies were found in the couple's living room of their 6th Bay Street apartment late last December. Autopsies showed Andrews had been beaten and stabbed more than 25 times, and the infant boy had been beaten multiple times. Twelve months earlier, the couple's three-month-old daughter, Yvonne, died under what the medical examiner ruled an undetermined death. The autopsy suspected that Yvonne had been suffocated. Warren later apologized in a Facebook post to Andrews with the words, What I've done is unforgivable. Warren was determined to be sane and competent prior to today's procedural guilty plea. He did not make any statement as to why he killed the two infants and their mother. He faces from five to 40 years on each of the three murder convictions. And that sentencing is set at 4 February 4th. Now, after the sentencing, or after the conviction this morning, I should say, the Commonwealth's Attorney's Office requested that the evidence, the photos, and some of the statements and interviews in this case be sealed because of their graphic nature and because they involve infant children. However, the judge, Gerald Jones, decided not to seal the evidence, saying that he's seen evidence like this before and people need to know what's going on in their court system. Live in Norfolk, Chris Horn, 10 on your side.